All right, guys, I got a pretty massive haul for you. Um, some stuff I've got, basically I got this stuff like at multiple locations. I didn't do a filming of it because, I don't know, because I just didn't, okay? See this hammer? Do not make me do All right, guys, seriously, pretty big haul, N not a ton of Blu-rays, so if you're just, if you just watch my channel just for Blu-rays, then maybe this isn't your video, but uh, if you like anything movie-related, odds and ends, obscurity stuff, um, Funko Pops, DVDs, Blu-rays, um, you're in for a treat, because I got a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool stuff for the video store, and uh, this... This first little stack was actually found here upstairs in like a little trunk thing. So I guess we've had it in the family forever. But it is um, E.T. People Magazine from 82. Like I said, found upstairs. I don't think this was purchased at like a yard sale or anything. At least not by me. Um, so I guess we've had it since 82, which is pretty cool. And that's the first one. Here is the second one. Also E.T. I mean, look at this. You know, back when, back when Americans really smoked all the time, you know, and um, our life expectancy was about 20 years younger. But it's okay. We look cool smoking a pack of um, Barclays. 99% tar-free. 99% um, tar-free is not enough. I need that extra percent. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really want any, any tar. So I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a good ad or not. And the last one of the bunch, well, of the ETs, is this ET, like, picture book. And um, ET looks very sickly right there. God bless him. And this is the last of the bunch. It's a Superman, but this is the movie. As you can tell, it's Christopher Reeve. What is this? I don't know. Just a bunch of jazz, crossword puzzles. Um, uh, You know, those guys. Yeah. Okay, I went to um, a bookstore that was recently moved, and now it's kind of like the Walmart of the mom and pop video stores. It's called McKay's. But, you know, it's pretty cool. It's very, it's huge at this point. Uh, anyways, I picked this up there, Goodwill Hunting. See, this is the stuff, I like to just get like this random stuff for like a dollar, two dollars, because it looks cool in the video store. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like the movie, like word for word. Um, like the script or something. Uh, either one. Yeah, screenplay. Yeah, Goodwill Hunting. And uh, also got everybody's favorite, Pulp Fiction. Uh, the same deal. Same deal. It's like the screenplay, I believe. <clears throat> yep. So yeah, pretty cool. I, I like that. And another book. Three Stooges. Stooge file. I really love the Stooges. They had a Stooges board game there, but it was like $20 and... I just, I don't have a lot of room left. I'm going to have to expand somewhere, or at least, well, I'm out of room, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to figure something out. I really want to get, like, a display case to put a bunch of this stuff in. That'll hold some of it. Um, Hollywood, 1970s, a young Meryl Streep on the back. In the front, you got Rocky, you got Charles Bronson, uh, Clint Eastwood, and is that Streisand and uh, Superman? So, yeah, the 70s, baby. It was, um, it was a good time for Hollywood. Not as good as the 80s, but pretty good time. Okay, back to the randomness. I never played Pictionary a day in my life, but Austin Powers Pictionary. I mean, this is the stuff, you know, you pick this up for like five, six bucks. Um, it's a sweet display piece. It fits the video store, and it's Austin Powers. I actually got a bunch of Austin Powers in this little lot, so if you like Austin Powers, then, um, uh, yeah, baby. I like you. No, no, not you, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're the Austin Powers fan. Um, another Austin Powers oddity is this Wacky Wobbler. Now, this was $10, but I'm a sucker for cool-looking bobbleheads, and this one's still in the box. And look, Funko. Like, this is Funko before Pop, so this is old-school Funko, like late 90s. Yeah, pretty sweet. I, I kind of want to take it out of the box, but at the same time, I don't. I don't know what I want to do. Um, look at his face. 
Do I look like him? Uh, I'd love to. Uh, okay. We got some movie cards. Batman, the second series. I don't want to open them because this one flap needs to be glued again. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, Joker and Batman, they're getting along right there. Good stuff. Another awesome powers. Every pack was labeled 45 cents a piece, so I had to buy every pack to get the box that went with it, but it's well worth it. The Spy Who Shagged Me. Personally, this was my favorite movie of the trilogy. Um, I'd say this one, then the first one, then Gold Member. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, I'll never open these packs. Sleeping Beauty record. Because I'm a huge Disney nerd, as everybody who's seen this channel probably knows. Or if you don't know, now you know. And yeah, it was like a dollar or two dollars. So, Disneyland record, Sleeping Beauty. Pretty sweet. I'll probably never listen to it. Honestly, I might, because I'll listen to the song part, but I won't, you know, I'm not going to read, like, the book that goes with it, because, really, I can't read. I'm illiterate, usually. And you probably already know that also. Let me, let me, I'm going to scoot a little bit closer to you. I'm going to scoot a little bit closer to you. This is my nice little red table I put everything on. Okay. These, the first two are yard sale finds. It is the cassette for Oklahoma, the Western classic, which I have never seen, but maybe I will get around to seeing that. And a cocktail. Yeah, starring Tom Cruise as a 80s ified Tom Cruise. Good stuff. And this one I picked up the other day. It's Thelma and Louise. It's sealed. There's no point in buying this. I will never listen to it. It serves no purpose in my life at all. But it was a quarter, so would I rather have the quarter or would I rather have the cassette soundtrack to Thelma and Louise? Thinking back on it, I might rather have the quarter. Okay, I also went to the movies the other day to see, I think, um, maybe it was It Chapter 2. Yeah, if I was better at reviews, I might would have reviewed that for you, but... I don't know. Hey, if you want a review and you've stuck in the video this long, I guess let me know, okay? But yeah, Batman Cup pretty swanky it was only like two extra dollars so i mean it was already too expensive to begin with but if it's too expensive and i only gotta pay two extra dollars i might as well get something to take home with me to make me remember how much money i wasted at the theater so maybe that wasn't a good idea who knows all right we're gonna get into some actual like physical media here well after we get through these first two books empire strikes back didn't have it i have return of the jedi and the first one so yeah, cool. Kill. E.T., this thing was a nickel. I mean, it was a nickel. I mean, I could find a nickel probably in my shoe. E.T. book. Yeah, pretty cool. I, I'm, I like the movie novelization books. They're hard to find. They really are. And some of them are actually, like, way up there in price. You know, you wouldn't believe it. I had a Lost Boys novel. I've lost it since. And that's like a $60, $70 book for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I lost it. Um, Dead Zone on VHS. Um, I've only seen... I've seen most of it, like, once. I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Wouldn't mind rewatching it. Okay, we're into some Blu-rays. Um, those that have watched my last... I think it was my last video. My Best Buy Trip video. I got some of those Mill Creek retro titles. And these are just two that I left behind. It is a songwriter starring Chris Christopherson and of the... Willie Nelson. I almost said the late great Willie Nelson. Willie's still alive and well. So I hope I don't jinx that. But yeah, uh, I heard this is a pretty good film, so I'm going to check it out. In Neighbors. I guess this would be considered the original Neighbors movie. It kind of reminded me of The Burbs a little bit, and I love that movie. I'm sure I won't like this one as much, but it's probably going to be worth a watch. Okay, another movie I've heard nothing but great things, and it doesn't even have a Blu-ray release, I don't think, or at least not over here. It's After Hours. I picked this up for, like, four bucks. Um, I heard this is, like, one of the most underrated Scorsese and 80s movies. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to checking that out. Okay, we're in the Halloween spirit, and... Oh, no. Oh, my God! Okay, I'm back. We're in the Halloween spirit, and nothing is better than Scooby-Doo, so I had to go and do it. I'm still needing um, The Witch's Ghost, I believe, but I picked up Scooby-Doo, Zombie Island, 
because this this might be like the best one actually and this is probably the one I watched the most and I remember seeing first of like the Scooby-Doo 90s films or an early 2000s films. Yeah, Scooby-Doo and Zombie Island. If this doesn't say childhood classic, then um, your childhood was ruined by somebody who didn't show you that movie. Okay, Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. I liked this one a lot as a kid, too. Not as much as Zombie Island. And this one I really liked as a kid was a Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. Yeah, the one I'm missing is the Witch's Ghost, or at least that's the one I really want. It's got the Hex Girls. Yeah. You know, the Hex Girls, um, goth emo babes. If you've seen Scooby-Doo, you know what I'm talking about. And speaking of Scooby-Doo, for those that like Funko Pops, you're in for a treat, because I've got all of them. Well, I've got all the villains. And yes, I do have the Creeper, but it's not a pickup, so I'm not going to show it. I think I've showed it in a different video. Either way, Werewolf, the limited to Funko Pop. Pretty sweet. I mean, these are awesome and adorable at the same time you know what i'm saying so yeah werewolf here i'll put him up here oh you can't see it you know what he's going where he goes phantom shadow <laughs> yeah i didn't need to do that but for those of you that have seen the episode you remember that and for those of you that have not seen the episode i guess i needed to do that for you because that's what they sound like um it's great it's actually a really good episode this is the Witch Doctor. Uh, yeah, that's adorable. No, these, I love these Scooby-Doo villain pops. Scooby-Doo is literally, like, honestly, my favorite cartoon of all time. Yes, I did get Captain Color also. This one glows in the dark and is limited. Really cool, really cool. I, I w Man, it would be awesome if they released, like, every villain, but that would be a lot of Scooby-Doo pops, and I don't know if they want to do that. Um, the Spooky Space Coop. This is the one that everybody says was, like, the creepiest episode. Um, I liked it, but it's not my favorite. I think the, the Phantom Shadow is a little bit creepier. Yeah. And the Ghost Clown. Probably another creepy one, because this guy did look creepy in the cartoons, and clowns are not a fan favorite at this point in time, in a good way. Or maybe it is a good way. I don't know. But yeah, Ghost Clown. Pretty sweet. And the last pop I got, which I, I was late boring the ship to the Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary merchandise, but this random, I mean, it was just one left. It was Ezra, the 10 inch that feels like 10 feet in pop world pop. I mean, this thing is giant. You know, it's like bigger than my head and it's a pop. So I don't know, maybe this is like my first like giant pop. So I guess that's why I'm astonished. Like it's one of the eight wonders of the world or something. But yeah, that's pretty sweet, though. It is awesome. I do like it a lot. I really want to get all the other Haunted Mansion Pops now. Even the park exclusive ones that are not that cheap. Because I love the Haunted Mansion. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the haul. Maybe it's not as big as I thought it was, but eh, there's a lot of good stuff in it, I think. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you'll come back and see me. And I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't. Because if you don't, you're going to miss out on all this stuff. And I don't want you to miss out on this stuff because I need you uh, probably more than you need me. But I like to think, you know, we're on a mutual level here. Seriously, uh, I'm glad you watched the video. I'm about to go check out, hopefully, Zombieland uh, Double Tap at some point in the near future. Maybe I'll do a review or maybe I'll do a video of me going to see it. We'll see what happens. Uh, but most importantly, though, go catch a flick.